All right, Rodney, Von Miller has been suspended for four games for violating the NFL's personal conduct policy. This appears to stem from a domestic violence arrest allegedly against his then pregnant girlfriend last year. Miller has denied these accusations. Now, back in March, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said that he thought about placing Miller on the exempt list, but did not have enough evidence at that time to do so. Now, this week, the league announced the suspension without a reason. Now, Rodney, what do you make of the way that the league handles these types of cases and ultimately their suspensions. I'm uncomfortable with this. I'm uncomfortable with this. If our if our government, if law officials were unable to prosecute and persecute a crime here, then the NFL is trying to act as if they have more information than uh, the legal system. This makes me extremely uncomfortable that they have this much autonomy to dictate whether or not someone should be allowed to essentially provide for their family and, and, and make a paycheck. Um, as a black man in this country, I detest the idea that I have to prove my innocence before you prove my guilt. Uh, it is, yeah, it's wildly uncomfortable and it makes me incredibly nervous, not just for, for Von Miller, who still to this day uh, swears by his innocence. His uh, pregnant girl, his, his girlfriend who was pregnant at the time has also come out and said this was a, a, a serious misunderstanding and um, I, I don't know what the NFL has uncovered or found, but unless they make that information public so that we all can have an understanding of what took place here, yes. I do not like this at all. Yes, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, let us know what the reason is. Don't just put out suspensions and just say he violated the conduct policy. Like, we need to know exactly what happened, not just for Vaughn, but just moving forward. So these, so players will know, okay, well, if this happens, if I do this, this is what my suspension will be. I thought that that was really weird to me that they did not specify yeah. or didn't want to disclose the exact reason. I think that Roger Goodell owes us and Von Miller the reason why he's being suspended for four games without pay. It's not cool. There was also different, but kind of in the same vein, right? There's this. Uh, there was an announcement this week that there's a documentary about Chris Brown coming out this week and, and the way that he's victimized women and uh, mm -hmm. a, a number of different things, right? The abhorrent behavior of Chris Brown. And there's this new allegation that's been made against him that has not gone through the legal process, right? There's a woman who's a part of this documentary who was in the shadows, voice distorted, and she's talking about an experience that she's had with Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Now, uh, so an entire documentary is being made on the back of a claim that has yet to be proven in the court of law. And that makes me really uncomfortable. And I don't understand why these types of things are allowed to continue to happen. We have a system in place here in this country. And if we can start making accusations on people and removing their uh, standing in society, removing their ability to, again, provide for their families without having due process, mm -hmm. I think the only people who are going to be at the risk and the whim of these very selective uh, points of outing are going to be black people. I've yet to see the documentary about a number of people from historic rock and roll acts to some of the more celebrated politicians in white America. I have yet to see the uncovering of, of their heinous crimes. I have yet to see the, the, the white rock and roll band who's charged with RICO acts for having young girls on their tour bus throughout the 80s and 90s and, and crossing them over in the state lines. I just want there, if we are going to make these kinds of accusations and claims about, about people, I need there to be a fair amount of, of uh, desire to have wrong handled for all groups of people and not just specific ones. Yeah. And going back to the NFL, I do feel like it needs to be even across the board because if we talk about say for instance Rasheed Rice who we've talked about a lot on this platform yeah Ben Adele's, Roethlisberger well Ben Roethlisberger yeah but we but can go Rasheed back to Ben Rice, Roethlisberger yeah we could but Rice well Roger Goodell said that he was not going to suspend Rasheed until it came out in the courts whatever the courts decided mm. is then he how he would move and so a lot of mm. people have been waiting on his suspension because that was something that we all saw with our own eyes. We were able to see the video of him racing and crashing into people on an interstate. Um, and so yep. I think it's just like, it needs to just be even playing field across the board. If you're gonna do that with Rasheed, then maybe you need to do that with Von Miller, unless you just happen to know some stuff. And if you do know some stuff, then that needs to be disclosed to everybody. 
Uh, you all let us know your thoughts in the comment section. How do you feel about Von Miller's four-game suspension? Is it right, wrong, and should that information be made public?